Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you the power of if expression in Power Automate. So without wasting any further time, let's get into the demo. So I'll use an instant flow. I'll use the manual trigger and I'll click on create. Okay, so first let's understand the basics. Perfect, right? So what is an if condition? An if condition returns a specific value if the expression is true or if the expression is false. So let's take a very simple example. Let's take, um, let me create a number. And let's go ahead and validate this with an if expression. So data and I'll click on compose. So I want to check if the number if the number is equal to 10. So I first need to put in an expression within an expression. So the equals expression. So it needs an object, so I'll pass it the number object. If it's equal to 10, then I will type in the number is 10. Else, or if it's false, I'll type in the number is not 10. Perfect, right? This is what the if condition is. This is a very high level example. We'll get into real life demos a bit later. But first, we need to understand the basics. So I've saved the flow and I'll click on manual. It will ask me for a number. Let's start with 15. 15 is equal to 10? No, right? So done. So this time, what should we get? the number is not 10 perfect and if I test it manually again and if I tell 10 it will give me the number is 10 traditionally or if you have been using conditions you will do something like this right so condition and here you will put in the formula like equals so if number to type in number is equal to 10 then do this or then do that so this is what the if expression goes ahead and reduces that is you it helps you get through these conditions Perfect, right? So if you are using something like this, you should start using the if condition. Now let's go and into a real life scenario. So I'll go into my if demo folder and I have products XLX file, right? So the product XLX file has got products, the price and contact. Now here, if you see my friends, cheese is any and contact, there is no contact in front of butter. So my company tells me if it is any, always go ahead and put a price of 20. And if there is no contact, just type in the contact of the HR. Now this is an Excel file. We just have three out here. We can update it manually. But what if your Excel file has got tons and tons of data? How do you go ahead and do that? And in this particular demo, I need to update these F uh, values into a SharePoint list out here and understand this I don't want the price as any price is a number column and contact should not be empty the contact should be hr at the rate contoso.com so let's get that sorted so first and foremost let me delete this let this be here I'll just get rid of the formula so first and foremost we will take care of of NA but before we take care of the NA that is not applicable or not available something like that we just want to get the items right so Excel list rows present in the table location the landing 
document library it is an if demo and the file is products the table is the default table perfect now what I want to do now I want to add a condition but before I add a condition what do I need to manage I need to first manage the price so it automatically decorates into an decorates the compose action with a apply to each loop because list rows present in the table returns an array perfect right now let's go and start doing our expression so if I'll say contains so what does contain needs so contain needs a collection so if contains so if okay I don't find that value that's not good so what I want to do is I'll just put this and I'll say price this is important price now you will always come through this thing right where you don't find the value what I do is that I put it into a compose and then use it into an if loop or an if expression so compose now let's try so if what's the expression I want to say contains price comma any if this returns as true okay if this returns as true then I want to set 20 and if it returns to false I just want to set the price again perfect right so let's give it a shot and let's see manual perfect run So we have got three items, three items and on the last item the prices should be 10 and 15 and then it should be 20 I guess. So let's see, compose, this gives me 10, perfect, this gives me 15 and this gives me 20. So we have sorted the problem with the if. Now there's another problem right, let's say that we want to also make the contact if there's no contact set the default contact so again I need to add a compose now why do I need to add a compose because values are not available out here if I directly put it in an expression yeah there are ways to get around it but this is a beginner level demo so I'm keeping it very simple and I'll just say I, sh I should put an email by the way so email because the products are there so contact Claven better naming conventions please so contact perfect now let me add another expression now who those who all did not pay a close attention to the compose action above it so I should actually name it better so I'll just say rename compose price and say rename compose what should I say that contact so in this I can just say expression and use the if expression now if I'll use the equals this time so if equals then the expression so what does it need it first needs an object so I can just put in contact
is equal to empty and if this comes back as true I can just say what can I say I can say the HRC mail right HR at the rate contoso.com and here I can put in the default value that is output contact so let's run it again and let's see if it works so if things have been done correctly we should have a contact on run number two so let's see so bread correct next HR perfect and then it's again cheese now that we have these sorted out I can just update my list from here so I can type in SharePoint say create item the landing list name will be if list and here my friends I can just fill in the values like product comes from here the price actually comes from did I name it incorrectly yeah it's here compose price and here I can just pass in compose contact now this will help you get around many problems right if you are going ahead and migrating a list item list to a an excel file to a sharepoint list you can use this approach if you have values that are dummy or if you have incorrect values out there this will really help you create a list which will be clean so if i go back and if i hit refresh perfect right so let me just dock it side by side so that we see it better perfect so bread is 10 it has the right email here if you see butter had no email so the contact is HR and cheese was NA so we set it to 20 perfect so here my friends this was a quick demo on which I wanted to show you how you can use the if condition in your day-to-day -day life or in your day-to-day -day power automate development i hope this demo or this tutorial was helpful please subscribe and thank you bye bye